this is where China is more vulnerable than Japan. Because in Japan, land could appreciate, but structures always depreciated. No one wanted to live in an old structure, and every 30 years they'd invent new earthquake safety technology and just scrap and build everything in the whole country. Um, and so in Japan, you had real estate in the bubble back in the 80s being used as collateral for businesses, which was a big problem. But what you didn't have was the entire country using it as their savings vehicle. For Japanese people, the big savings vehicle is and always has been bonds. China does not have that. 